Hi everyone, I got some more happy mail today. Um, what a day to get mail. Uh, two big, nice, wonderful packages in one day from two special people in my life. I, can, I couldn't ask for more. I'm so ever thankful for um, being part of your guys' life. I mean, I meet so many wonderful people here on YouTube and Etsy and so many different type of crafty people. I mean, from junk journals to quiltsers to uh, cross-stitchers. Some people call um, a, a craft hookers <laughs> where they do rug hooking. Um, there's so many types of people who do so many different types of crafts and I'm so glad that I get to not only share items with you guys, but I could sell items to you guys um, and learn from you guys. So, okay, long story short, this box came from a dear friend named Betty which you guys have heard, I'm sure, in a few of my videos that I brave, rave about all the time. Um, she has no shop and she has no blog. She has no channel. She's not on YouTube. She's just an um, everyday person um, who is a very special person who's not only giving. Obviously, I got this wonderful box um, of something special in here. And um, she loves the junk journal. So... I'm going to share. Uh, she says she was going to be sending me this. She had purchased um, what more like, I think I, yeah, she had purchased. I told her not to, and she did anyways. Um, <laughs> that's Betty for you. Um, one of my Bohemian kits, my first Bohemian kit, and she said she was going to make me a journal made with all those items that are from that kit. So I'm excited to see what she created. And if anyone has seen Betty's journals, they are amazing. Um, she She's different. She's unique, uh, very talented. Um, she puts things in her journals that are not store-bought. They are just everyday around the house items. And and she always puts uh, pieces of herself in there, which I think that's what is talent right there. Is It's not just cookie cutter. It's not like everyone else's. She does her own thing and I love it. And so let me dig right in. I might have to move the box. She always wraps things. Oh, before I start, I want to cover up her address. Oh, there you go. We're all good. First, I want to show you guys. <laughs> Every time she sends a box, she I say the word bedazzle. Sorry my lighting. My son's leaving me. Um, she put these, like, it's almost like a... Sorry, I don't want to give away your address, Betty. <laughs> um, like a little um, sequence, heart sequence, and like a sticky thing, which is really cute. I'm going to have to untape that and then put it in this journal in a baggie. Yes, because that's what junk journal people do. <laughs> um, so it looks like here you guys can kind of have a peek at that as I quickly read the letter really quick. Um, of course, a cute cupcake. And <laughs> I'll read it real quick. And if I think it's good to where it's able to read without her being embarrassed. Um, but it is a... You get a kick out of Betty. She's really a jokester. So, um, um, aw, Betty. And it's not a joking Betty. It's a sweet Betty, and I really appreciate it. She said, sweet Selena, enjoy the big red. <laughs> so there is a, a funny in this. Uh, meeting you has been one of my greatest joys in life. Um, here is the card. Okay, I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. <laughs> All right. Um, thank you, Betty. Really, thank you. Um, so I'll grab this out. She always has the coolest packed. Whoa, you're not kidding, Big Red. <laughs> and, oh, a tassel, too. Um, oh, and it's tied on there. Okay. So, wow, Betty, this thing's heavy. Whoa. Okay, now that is a journal. A big journal. Um, wow. <laughs> Whoa. Betty, you are not kidding. Okay, so your tassel kind of got stuck on here. So I'm going to move the journal for a second. Wow, that is one nice big journal. Here's her tassel. Okay, I got it the right way. Betty, you're... <laughs> Betty, you're so funny. Okay, here we are. Wrong <laughs> way. All right, so here's her tassel. I can see the pieces. She's right. So these are things for my kit. So she did the wire. And she did a charm that's dangling. She's so hard on herself. She says she doesn't like certain things. She made it clear she didn't like how she makes tassels. But I don't know. I have to say, it doesn't look bad at all, Betty. I, what's wrong? What's right? You know, it's yours. So it looks like we have some sari silk in there, ribbon. Um, and definitely, this is part of my one of my favorite pieces in my kit, is this fabric. Um, so look at 
pretty buddy. I think it's amazing. I think it's awesome. I got a clip. Oh, it is one of those clips where you, please let me know anyone who knows. Okay. Isn't that called a binder clip? So I could bind, put that onto here. I had to figure out how I do that, but okay. So here's the journal. You're not kidding, Betty. It is a big red journal and it is stuffed. Look at this stuffed with all kinds of goodies. I see some charms dangling in here. Okay, here we are. Oh, that's the charm that came into the kit last time. Uh, I see, here's another charm. I have to go through that slowly. Again, I apologize everyone for my lighting. It's not the best. Um, so let me untie this. I love how chunky this is. She was telling me when she was writing me that she did not like the cover. I love the cover. I love the color. Um, it's like um, a velvet. It's like a raised embossed. I guess is the word I should say. Um, like a velvet. And look at the cute little rose pendant at the top. I think it's beautiful, Betty. All right, see if I can get center here. <laughs> She's not kidding when I, it's, she says it's big. Um, let me see if I can find my measuring stick. Here we go. I know I have one. It is, looks like we're almost 10 inches by, well, if I count all the stuff stuffing out of here, seven. <laughs> it's a pretty, almost like a four inch thick um, journal. <laughs> so I'm going to go through this as uh, slowly as possible without making you guys dizzy. But look at this cover. You guys can see that. She zigzag stitched it on. And look at the inside. I, this feels like vintage fabric. Velvet on the outside. And it's almost like a chenille. Um, oh, that's a pocket. You guys can see that. I could put something in there, like her letter. Um, it fits perfectly in there. That is awesome. And some pens, I'm sure. Okay, here's some silk. She says she's not a fan of working with silk. Everyone's different. It is hard. Silk is really, it's just moves all the time. And if you guys could see that, okay, she has, man, this is going to be, this journal is going to take some time. It's a full journal. So she's got these silk little tassels. Can you see how she zigzag like the, it's almost like a, not zigzag. I would have to say it's that scissors. It does like a, a like a flow. And we got some eyelash palms. And in here is the first card. Oh, look at the card. How she did, it's like a tassel at the bottom of a card. Like I said, and this card says, oh, it's a library card about a book of 1825 and 1893. It's typewriter, typed card. She filled this one up, uh, uh, like a seashell paper that um, has like a, Betty, do you have a typewriter? It's like a typewriter on top of a sticker. Um, to my, do you have like a card? Let me see here. Do you guys, Betty, I bet you have a typewriter. Knowing Betty, she probably has a typewriter. Wow, this is just the first page and it's filled. Um, oh, Betty, you're making like a an ocean journal and you're giving me some of your ocean stuff. You know I love the, the beach. It says, Eureka Spool Silk is the best. Isn't that adorable? I love that card. That's the back. Oh gosh, jeez, buddy. Looks like here we got a card that is, um, it's like copied. It's a copied print card, but still, look at the quality of it. It's beautiful. That was not in my junk journal. <laughs> Those cards in here. I'm gonna set this down really quick. Those were not in my journal. <laughs> These pieces here. But the silk for sure. Wow, buddy, that's gorgeous. I like how you did that. I'll leave that coming out to the side. Okay, I wonder if that journal looks fine. It's laying on the table like that. By the way, how do you guys like my little thing in the background? I got that at a most recent uh, find. Okay, so it looks like we have another uh, card too. It looks like she had put it in like with this, oh, what was I thinking? So you can see this little clip, it says number seven. It's like a paper clip. I've never seen one like that before. And it's, there's the back of it. And she's sewn in some more lace. Looks like we have a, not lace, I'm sorry, silk. Sorry, 
It's been a long day. I was at the park today doing some working out and getting ready for the race. Uh, here's some of the fabric I had in there. I wonder if Betty was that hard to sew that in because that fabric was really stretchy. Looks like we have some pockets and things here that looks like she tucked it inside. If you guys can see the inside, it's like tucked around. A map. We have some coffee dyed paper and it says she stamped on it. Bohemian. Ooh, I like that stamp, Betty. I'm going to have to ask you where did you get that one. So we have some more Bohemian paper and then looks like we have like she she put in a um, zigzag stitch on some of that vintage fabric some purples of course I have some purple palms those were in the junk journal kit and she put them on there I love how she just didn't even snip off the end she just let it just keep going smart idea buddy all right, this fabric, I'm going to quickly tell a story behind this fabric. I know I'm taking my time on this one, but oh well. It's going to take a long time to download, or sorry, upload. Um, this fabric here, that if you guys got the Bohemian Junk Journal kit, I had, um, I was debating on telling a story on this, because some people find a fence and, um, uh, um, and tearing up or cutting up things, you know, that are part of you, uh, of someone else, and then sharing with others. So I'm going to tell the story anyways. If you're offended, I'm totally sorry. But this fabric here came from a dress that I got in Africa about, oh, my daughter is uh, seven, it's going on 17, so about 15 years ago that I got when I went to Africa and did some missionary work. Um, I had actually cut up the dress, so I gave everyone a piece of it in their kits. I wanted to give you all a piece of me and a part of me of my history. So um, there you go. Story on that. Long story short. Hopefully it's short. Okay, so she put in this pocket and looks like she had sewn in or pinned in um, some of the trim that was in the kit. And then she has a bulb ring and she put one of the buttons on the bulb ring. Smart. And in there she has, oh, <laughs> she knows I love cats. Now you all know I love cats. We have a cat. Oh, she wrote another letter. Oh, it looks like it's a card from some, it's like a, an older card. I have to read that later. All right, so cute card. And we have a butterfly card, which is cute. See, who would have thought you put these things in a bohemian kit, like a journal? I think it's just colorful. I think all the colors you put together is what makes it special and it's a piece of you and now you know what I mean when I say Betty puts all kinds of unique things in there it's just it's totally Betty she had tied looks like here the scent part of this one of the sections with some sari silk she loves sari silk so we got some more trim oh let me guess I bet you I would not doubt it Betty made that flower it looks like there's batting on the center of each layer. Almost like, I betcha, because Betty makes um, these amazing baskets out of placemats. If these are pieces that she used and did it. And she put like a, a paper clip. You can see that. And a charm. And it looks like this is a copied photo of, um, of a woman. A vintage woman. And there's the paper clip. You can see it comes out. See, look at You could even put Victorian and Bohemian. It's just this... It's this different colors of papers and stuff comes all together and look at this cute <laughs> charm looks like she put another beautiful heart uh, key charm uh, on a ball ring onto some sequence fabric that was in the kit I love this paper of course a lady page here's some more trim that was in the last kit it's got this gold I don't know if you guys can see that some birds. Looks like this is wrapping paper. It looks like here. Look at it. She didn't even like cut it just to make it a page. She left it as it the fold. See there? I don't know if you guys can see that. That's really neat. I'll back up some here. She cut the fold. She says this. She just kind of like sewn in the paper <laughs> the way it was folded, which is cool because you could tuck more things in there, like the envelope, you know? Adorable, buddy. Here's the charm. The one that came in the kit. Papers. Some more papers and more trim she's sewn on. That was from the kit. Awesome. Betty loves animals. This is a playing card, I bet. Yep. 
And then here we got some papers. Yep, she does. Let me put these over here. So we got like a bohemian type card page. Oh, it's about, uh, it's information about, um, cool. It's like a, like a bohemian card information. Here we go. I'll have to share it that way about that. And then this here is, I'm sorry, I'm doing this upside down. Plants for Scents, a traditional recipe for potpourri. The fabric, she just kind of just put it in the paper clip. This probably wasn't a fun fabric to work with, but I can hear Betty now. <laughs> it was not fun fabric to play with. <laughs> I love that she's not, you know, she, she always tells you how it really is. She put a little tooling on a paper clip. Like it's almost like a calendar page we have here. It's really thick paper cardstock. She put the trim in here, almost like a belly band. I think I said that correctly. This is the woven trim. And she put some things in here. Looks like we have like a card, which I could definitely put a picture in there. We have some vintage papers here. Here we are. This here is like three or four pages or more. It says out of doors. It looks like this is poems, different kinds of poems. Here we go. I could turn it. She kept it together. You can still see the old string of the book in it. She just kept all the pages together like that. And she just kind of put it, tucked it in the belly band, which is really smart because you could take pieces on here and use them for other things as well. Another copy paper, which I love it. So I'm going to put those things back. Try to keep them the way they came in. I love the band. I love how pliable it is too. Smart idea, Betty. Very smart. I'm going to cover up our peoples. More coffee dye paper. And this here was amazing. I, I know not everyone got a huge piece of this. They got, all got the same size, but this was like an oriental silk. that was totally vintage. It had like some staining on it, which made it look really old. It just was beautiful. And I know, Betty, you don't like working with silk, but I like what she did on the edge of the paper. I think it's perfect. It's almost like it's part of this lady's hat. Another lady page. More of that embroidered trimming. I love that you put so much of the kit into this. It's like she has made some tags here. And then at the top, she put the eyelash trim. If you guys can see that. And she put some of that fabric and zigzag stitched it on the edge. Looks like this is another, what do you call that? Every between each layer, she looks like she ties some sari silk. So that's what's with all the silk at the top. Each section is tied with sari silk. Smart, Betty, which makes a beautiful top. Looks like in frame, like she put a frame and then she put a lovely lady in the back of that. Some more paper, like cardstock papers. Perfect amount of room to put any type of journaling. Like anytime I get a card from her or something, I'll put them in this. Like I said, like anytime I get special cards and stuff, I, maybe I, I didn't say in this video, I said in another video. And anytime I get special cards from people, I keep it in like a um, a binder. I have these plastic you know, sleeves and I put your cards and stuff in. I, I love words. So anytime I get letters from her, I'll just put them in this journal. Good look at the charm she put on the paper clip. You guys can see that okay? I love the vintage page. Um, this is like fabric, but it's like a printed fabric. Betty, you can let me know what that is. It's almost like you can iron it on, like she printed it out from the printer. I know that as a quilter, you could print out pictures on the fabric, and that's what it reminds me of. It's like a piece of fabric. Here's a doily she put in, and I have so much more. Woo, this thing is full, Betty. It isn't, you're not kidding, it's a big book. And she just folded it in there. It looks like it's coffee dyed. And you still have room if you wanted to put anything in between the sleeves. Like, um, let's see if I can find another letter. Here we go. Put this. And then you could put in between. I wonder if you could put in between. Maybe I'm wrong. No, nope, that works for me. And you, in between, you could put the different letters. Um, I have, looks like she has some cards here. Look at this cute little card on <laughs> a paper clip. I love this embroidered fabric that I put in the kits. That piece was just like, I wish I had more of it to share. She has some printable cards here, the gypsy cards. I love the gypsy cards. 
it's hard finding gypsy stuff. Um, I tried um, ordering some tarot cards and they're crazy expensive and it's hard to find vintage ones. So I'm open to anyone who has vintage ones. Let me know. This is like a blue. I don't know if you guys can see the color. It's like a royal blue and it's like a, a satin silk like Shantuck fabric. Some vintage palms that I put into the kit. Betty, it's adorable. I love it on that paper. Oh, I love here. Look here. She's got this card that talks about what bohemian means. And she's got the definition. She makes such beautiful things. See, this is what I mean when I say it's different. And then she just, with a ball ring, she put in these buttons. Just dangling buttons. And <clears throat> this is a buttonhole, I think, uh, piece. I love this page. See how she, I think she just, she's almost like a, like you seamstress and stuff like that. They know how to coordinate colors. It just, as if this piece was supposed to be here. Some more vintage papers. Looks like like here, she had put in the division of the next page, which is, and she just tied the knot at the top. This here says the ancient prayer. It's like a prayer. Look at the colors and everything. Gorgeous. Some more beautiful vintage papers. This is awesome large paper clip. Some different papers in there too. And back at the back, it's like a fabric pocket. I love that fabric, by the way. It's hard to work with and hard to sew with, but it's beautiful. Looks like here she's really utilized the uh, eyelash trim that I put in the kit. There's more eyelash trim. And it comes off this card that comes out from this paper clip. Look at here. How she did the uh, the trim backwards. Usually the trim is this way. See? She did it backwards and showing the woven side that is the quilted side on the back. Very smart, buddy. Some more of the doily that pops through. Some more of that fabric. It's the other side of that fabric page. Look at there. If you guys can see that. This bell that dangles off. Almost looks vintage, like it's come from like a piece of jewelry. You guys can see that. I have to ask Betty if that's vintage. Um, more some copied paper. It says Dorothy Foster, price 60 cents. I have a pocket here. I have no clue what that is, but look at that's cool. It looks really good in this journal. And look at this crazy large pocket and tag. <laughs> It's huge. I should back it up here. Awesome, buddy. That is so cool. And then we have some more papers. Coffee dye paper. And look at that. Looks like she had leftover pieces of the trim. And she just kind of like just sewn it at the edge as a tab on the page. Oh. And I was so surprised when she made this journal that, because in her kit, I gave her this vintage postcard. It's one of my favorites, because Betty obviously is one of my favorite peoples. And um, she put it in this journal. I was surprised, and I kind of am happy I got it back. But I'm going to keep it in this here. Isn't that so cute? And it's totally vintage. It's got the old stamp and all. It just... Perfect for this. Thank you, Betty, so much. You did not have to do that. And it goes behind that paper. I'm right, on top of that paper. And on this here is a large paper clip with some of this cute silk fabric. It's got the rip tatted edges. Turn the page. We have more papers. This thing is so filled. I love the cute little tabs. And here is, look at there, another piece. Look at this huge, large tab. And then she put this tag, another ball ring. And this little rose. Aw, this comes out. All right, ready? Hopefully if I don't ruin it, I'm trying to do it with one hand. And it's the cutest little, let me set this down. And without missing my page here, scissors. Cutest little card. <laughs> oh, that is so cute. I wonder if these pop up. No. That is so cute. And it went inside this paper clip that also has, it's almost like an envelope page. Look this up for you. Envelope page. This envelope looks like it's on here and it's on the back too. 
and it's got this cute little get up there charm. Whoop! I hear a bell. Angel got its wings. Yeah, so there's the card on the back. Smart, Betty. Here's the other side of the, the whew, my tongue, I'm sorry, of the um, wrapping paper. Again, you can put something in there as a tuck pocket. Should back this up some. And then more paper here. And then another paper clip with the fabric on top of one of the cards. And it looks like this is the inside. Let's see here. This is the inside of a vintage paper, and it looks like it's the old writing someone wrote in there, which is, I love stuff like this, that you keep the original vintage uh, piece in there, as if someone's been journaling in this before I even got it. I love the printable pages, by the way, Betty. Vintage ladies, more printable pa uh, cardstock paper, uh, copy dyed paper, that's the other side of that paper bag. The other side of the fabric I told you that I shared with everyone. Um, and then another lovely lady. The fabric. And then she's got like a silky tab. Paper clip. And this is some uh, bordered trim as well. Those in the kit. And then look at here. Has a little charm with the ball ring. Says time. I can show you guys my cheeks. My cheeks are so rosy because this, this is so lovely and beautiful. I'm so thankful. Um, a map, and then it looks like she uh, ripped the edges or it's ragged. Um, then you could put something in between each. And then there's this. This is lovely. If you guys can see that. And then, of course, Betty has a piece of herself with the... What is she right here? She put... The date, it's her name, and it says, enjoy this junk journal made just for you. And I'm very honored. And she's got this little tassels at the top. And that is Betty. If anyone wants to know who Betty is, that is my dear friend Betty. Sorry, Betty, I hope you're okay with me showing off your photo into the world. Um, she is a wonderful person. And so then here, we got another tab with the silk with another charm. And it's got like a pink, I don't know if you guys can see that. Good pink. And then there's the back of the page. Here you go. Let me another view of the pink charm, which matches that lovely page. And then again, she has it where there's another large pocket right here where I can add, hey, my scissors. No, um, so that you could, you know, add what you want in there. And there's the back page. Look how lovely that is. Again, I, you know, I tell everyone there's no perfect way of making a journal. So I know sometimes sometimes we overthink and think things and we want ours to be like everyone else's. Hey, I suggest be like Betty. Make it the way that is you. It, this is this is totally Betty. And every bit of it matches to me. Every bit of it is beautiful um, because it's, it's her and it's special. It's the large red book. And I'm really proud and honored that I get to have this book and I will cherish it, Betty, for a very long time. And I'm definitely, like you guys seen this beautiful charm, I'm going to put the charm on the very end here. But um, it's beautiful. It's lovely and it's totally Betty. And I hope I inspired others by showing her creation and maybe you guys can learn something uh, new um, in this beautiful video of Betty's journal. And... Um, Again, step outside your box. Enjoy something new. Uh, push yourself beyond the limits. Um, it makes me want to make a journal if I had the time. Um, and um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, have a shout out to Betty. I imagine she's going to be on here. But um, Betty, it's beautiful. I'm really thankful. Y'all have a wonderful day.